welcome back. Let's meet our guest tonight. He is on his mathematics world tour. It's the one, the only, Ed Sheeran. It's Edward Sheeran. The best congregation of people. This audience mu it must feel so good for you to come back here it's after you've things. killed it in Hollywood. Oh, bless you, Vin. That's a lovely thing for you to say. I'm serious. After, after you killed it in Hollywood. I mean, when he came to Hollywood and he started to do his show, Hollywood had never seen anything like it. He was so good, and everybody wanted to be on his show. <laughs> and now, he got, oh God, oh God. <laughs> and now he's back here for you, <laughs> and it's like you've welcomed him home. This is the biggest show ever. <laughs> you oh, are so, sorry, James. I'm you sorry. are so lovely. And we're so thrilled that you found the time to come down here and thrilled that, Ed, you found the time to be here because you've just had uh, your second child, yep. a new baby, a baby your last month, and you're on a huge tour. How is it, on a scale of zero to 50, how tired are you? How are you coping? <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's one of these things where... You never thought like going to do a gig for 90,000 people would be the, the chill time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> would be the break and the rest. Well, so the last time I saw you was the day of our, um, our holiday party, our Christmas party in Los Angeles. And I'd bumped into Vin a couple of nights before and you texted me and said, hey, if you're out, come up to the house and hang out, right? So I said to my friend Louis, who's a writer on the show, where, Louis's there, he's there, he's just sat behind him right there. I Yo, said to Louis. Louis, I said, do you want to come on, a, on an adventure? I'm not going to tell you where we're going. And he said, sure. <laughs> and we get in this car and we drive for what feels like forever. Up this, all the way up. So it feels like we're driving to the top of Los Angeles. And Louis says, where are we going? And I said, we're going to Vin Diesel's house. And he goes, that is exactly what I wanted you to say. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we walk in. <laughs> we walk in. We went in at about midnight, we left at about 4.30, and everything in between, we were drinking. Recording. Is this a, we, we, we were up in Vin's recording studio, we were listening to... We, have you got Vin, a song together? No, yeah. not for us together, yeah. but Vin taught no, we us... No, we have a song together. Do we? Now the world needs to hear I that. I don't think we... I don't know <laughs> that no, we have a song remember, together. I don't remember, but you recorded a song with me. No, I didn't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely did not record a song. Yes, you did. <laughs> Louis, Louis, did I ever record a song with Vin that I night? I remember that. No. Louis. I remember a dance. Yes, you taught us a dance, Vin. Do you remember the dance? <laughs> you did, you, you taught us a dance. You see how this kind of... Go on, we'll, let's, we'll show you now. You can join us, Vin, if you want to. Louis, show us... Come up here. We'll this is... This is the dance. Come on, you remember, Vin, do you remember it? Come on, come on. Oh, my God. Wait one minute. I cannot stress enough. Hey, Louis. This was a hey, dance hey, that Vin Diesel taught us on tequila at 3 a.m. Do you remember? OK, it go, well, wait, hang on. It goes like this. Do you remember, Vin? It's the left, 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 right? It goes like this. It goes, <laughs> ready? It goes one, two, three, four. It goes left, one. left, left. Okay. Right, 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 left, right, left, right. You guys Whoa. are better than me. Thank you, man. Good to Good see you, man. man. <laughs> 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 
nothing will come close to being at your house at 4 a.m. and being taught a dance <laughs> with a childhood friend of mine. I mean, Ed, <laughs> you've had some big nights. Well, didn't you end up... You ended up at Ronaldo's house in Sao Paulo, Brazilian Ronaldo, yeah. number nine Ronaldo, right? What happened? How did you end up there that night? Uh, do you know what? I was in Brazil. This was, this was a while ago. Uh, this is 2015. I was in Brazil, and I was sort of like, while we're here, I mean, he is the you know, biggest legend yeah. of Bra Brazilian football history, and blah, blah, blah. We're actually Pele as well. But of course. Whatever. In my generation, yes. Ronaldo, number nine, is... Yeah. The guy. So when I was in Sao Paulo, I was like, can someone invite him to a gig? And they were like, I don't know if he's going to come down. So anyway, I played two shows there. And then the, on the second show, they were like, oh, Ronaldo came last night. And I was like, well, why didn't anyone tell me? And they were like, oh, well, he might come again tonight. So anyway, he came again that, that, that night and he said to me, I'm going to have a house party at my house. Do you want to come? And I was like, yeah, 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 that sounds great. Yeah. Can, I, can I bring my friends? And he was like, yeah, bring, bring who you want. And I was, I, I was with my cousin and like two other people. And I sort of arrived at his house, and I thought it, again, same thing, would be this, like, big house party that lots of people are at. And I walked in, and no one was there, and I was like, oh, am I early? Like, and I sort of walk in, and he has a club in his house. And, uh, I and he's there with his, his girlfriend, and he's like, I've got something to show you. And do you know my music video where I do the dance, uh, Thinking Out Loud? Yes. Yeah. Um, he'd learnt it. No. With, with his girlfriend, yeah. Stop. And uh, he put it on a big screen in his club and did the dance. And it was really cool. <laughs> Ben, we got to, can we talk for a minute about the Fast and Furious franchise? Yeah. You're here in the UK. <laughs> You're shooting Fast 10. Am I right in thinking, Vin, is this, is this public, you know, there's going to be two films, is that right? There's two films, yeah. Fast 10, but it won't be Fast 10 and 11. It'll part be one far, and part two. Part one and part two. How's it going? Is this really the end of the franchise? Come on. Is it really... Come on. Everyone wants to know. Um, It'd be like a farewell tour or like a retire. You know when yeah. artists it's retire and they come out. It's such a great question. Um, Paul Walker and I used to. We were actually in London. We used to dream of taking this very modest franchise that started 20 years ago to the 10th film, and that is what we, the promise that we are delivering now. I feel so blessed. It's a miracle. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that the one day that I'm off work, I get to sit next to Ed, who's a genius. Yeah. And I, and I, and I get to act out my living room with James, because what we do here is the same thing we do I get up, we're talking. You know what, James? <laughs> it's true. I have another idea. It's absolutely James. true. And what about this, James? And so do you know what it's I'd like... like to see? Yes. Let's see what I'd like to see, yes. Vin. I don't know if you'd ever be able to do this, Ed. Would you ever do would you ever do do the song for Fast and Furious? Would you do the Fast Ten song? Is that would that be something in your repertoire? Whoa. It depends when it comes out. Because I I get That I... sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> I find myself. Sounds like a fat yes to me. Well, we I, I think this is the start of a beautiful, a beautiful thing. I really, really do. Stick around. Ed Sheeran and Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs>